When I moved into the Blue House, um, the backyard was, you know, a hot mess. It was just a lumpy thing, lumpy thing. It was like insane. So um, the first, you know, the first thing was to bring in a dozer, you know, a small dozer. Uh, and, um, you know, it's funny, the backyard, there are moments of it that are really quite, you know, formal, you know, and, uh, and, you know, I have to say, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm still, you know, addicted to that, you know, whatever, want to make things. Um, but the first, uh, the first thing I did with a dozer was to kind of make this upper plinth, you know, the crisp edge and the lower, right? Because they're, those wanted to happen, you know, because it was like latently up, you know, and kind of sort of down. Uh, so that that was the big thing, and then then I just started experimenting, you know, with plants, of course, you know. So well, maybe not, of course, but I think the the you know my favorite uh, part of the garden is the debris garden. I mean, uh, you know, that's kind of a course, uh, and I was so glad. I mean, it was really maybe kind of weird that you know that the 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 yard was such a hot, you know, hot mess that we just found more and more debris, you know, I'm like, yes, you know, so I was like, okay, and to this day, anytime we find something, we just, you know, chunk it, you know, into the debris garden, right, which is a long, long piece, and then, you know, next door, which was a crack house, <laughs> I kind of wanted to um, put a little filter, you know, there. And, you know, I love bare root trees. And so we got in some rubinia, some black locust, and they were like all of four feet. And I just like chunked them in there, like 30 of them. I'm always accused by, you know, being, planting things too close. And I always tell people, go walk in the woods, you know. And uh, in five years, they're just like towering now. You know, but I just, I love their light, you know. But I was happy to live on the other side of the tracks um, with a crazy mix of neighbors. You know, I think a, a lot of colleagues would talk about their gardens as, you know, as experiment, uh, experiments. Um, well, maybe not, because I, mine has a lot of failures. <laughs> and I just go, okay, whoops, you know, that didn't work. And, uh, so, you know, it's, it's, I have to say, you know, generally with gardens, what I've always appreciated and, you know, Dirt Studio was like, you do gardens? I'm like, not really, secretly I do them, you know, because, you know, whatever, the proof factor. But um, they're fantastic experiments, you know, and I mean, it's all one big mock-up, you know. I love mock-ups, you know, and yeah. You know, and they give you that intimacy and that immediacy that I've realized, you know, just has been, you know, so important, you know, to feed even the big work, the big work. So, and I think a lot of colleagues do that. But I hope they'll, you know, I hope, I just hope the, the role of the garden will always kind of keep that stature, you know, of an important thing for us all to do you know, for our soul, right, and for others. Um, and to be able to bestow um, that level of intimacy and experience, you know, even if you're working on, on large work, you know, because, you know, you know we, we experience the, the landscape, you know, at the, at the scale of the leaf.